Welcome to Math Soul. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve simultaneous equation in, uh, by using the graphical method. Simultaneous equation can be solved by graphical method, substitution method or elimination method. And in this video, I am going to explain the graphically uh, solving the simultaneous equation. But before going to solve the equation, we need to understand what does it mean the solving simultaneous equation. Simultaneous represents at the same time. Equations, we, have, we are giving uh, like two equations, two linear equations, and we are solving it. The solutions we are getting for both equations at the same time. That's called solving simultaneous equations. So solutions for both equations at the same time. Okay. So now we understand the two equations will be given. One solution for both equations we have to find out. And we can find out by using the graphical method. So let's start with an example. Uh, let's say we have the equation y equal to 2x minus 6, the first equation. And our second equation is, uh, um, maybe I can just do here, uh, our second 3x minus y equal to 7. So this is two equation and I'm asking to uh, solve these equations graphically and in order to draw a graph this is the straight line equation we can see here linear equation in order to draw the graph we can just get some x and y values and let's say we are just using uh, to plot a straight line we just need two points I'm just trying to get three points and to plot that's fine even the two points is enough to draw a graph now x just consider I'm going for x equal to minus 1, 0 and 1. And these are independent variables. So you can choose any value for x. I'm just going for small values to make our calculation easy. And now I'm trying to find out the corresponding y values. So what I'm doing now, I'm substituting minus 1 into the equation and find out the value of y. So if you substitute x with minus 1, then 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, minus 6, which is minus 8. Then 0. If you substitute here 0, then y will be minus 6. If you substitute with the 1, then it will be minus 4. So, you know that each point, these are each point. So, the first point is like minus 1, minus 8. Our second point is 0, minus 6. Our third point is 1, minus 4. Each point basically the solution for this equation. But we are looking for a solution for both equations, not just for this equation. Now, for the second one, we can also get some points for graphing uh, x and y. Just go for 0, 1, or uh, we usually put uh, just like a real number line. So just put minus 1, then put 0, then it's a 1. Okay. Now, if you put minus 1, or uh, this is the 1, I think it's, if we write down in this form, it would be easier for us to do the uh, substitution. So make y subject and leave 3x minus 7 because if you move y then 3x minus 7 would be the other side now if y is a subject and you are substituting x with the minus 1 it would be 3 times minus 1 to minus 3 minus 7 which is uh, minus 10 and then if you put 0 x 0 then it would be minus 7 if you use x equal to 1, 3 times 1, 3 minus 7, which is minus 4. Okay. So now here also you can see if it's a minus 1, it's a minus 10, 0, minus 7, 1, minus 4. Okay. Now you can see here it, it has also solution like minus 1, minus 10 is the solution for this equation. And 0, minus 7 is the solution for this equation. And also 1 minus 4 is the solution for this equation. So we have 1 minus 4 here. We have 1 minus 4 here as well. So it means if I make a straight line, we will find that these two lines will intersect 1 minus 4 point. So when we are trying to solve two equations and we are plotting it, basically it will, the solution is basically the intersection point between these two lines. 
Okay, let me just show you in the graph. Um, so sorry, just try to make this right. On uh, four, all negative side, just more. Yep. So this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. Okay. Now, if I say okay, minus one or zero six minus six zero minus six zero minus six one two three four five six so this is zero minus six this is the point one minus four where is one minus four? x equal to one minus four so this is minus four one minus four and if i add this two even i don't need to draw the third one i can just use this two point to connect it and if i add this and this is just the line of our this is the first line our first equation so first line and now if I want to draw the second one, which is like, maybe I can use another two point. It doesn't matter which two points you're taking. Zero minus seven, zero minus seven is somewhere here. Yep. And then another point is one minus four is here. So now if I make a, like a different color for the second line, so this is the point, this is the point, and I'm adding this. Somewhere like that. So this is our second point. Uh, even though it's not straight, but we can feel that it's like it's going like that. Yeah. So the red one is for our uh, second equation, and we can just mark as a, like this is our second equation now. You can see that these two lines is intersecting here. So always when we are solving two straight line equation, like a simultaneous equation, the simultaneous equations, then the solution would be the basically the intersection between two lines. So any line, any points on that line is the solution for this equation. Any points in this line lying on that line is the solution for this equation. I mean the first equation. But only this is the point is lying on both of the equation or both of the line. So that's why this is the point is the solution for the straight line uh, for the both straight line equations. Any two equations, if they are not parallel to each other, they will definitely meet somewhere. Either it's an extremely large value for x or y or extremely a lower value for x and y but they will somehow meet they can't just go endlessly and that meeting point or, uh, or intersecting point is the solutions for these two equations or for these two lines and it is not always easy to get that value by using the table because we are just trying to get very simple value like 0 1 and corresponding value of y so it's not necessarily they will meet within that range. It could be very high value. In that case, we have to definitely draw and then find out what is the uh, value they are intersecting. Uh, let's start doing one uh, more example. Let's say we have y equal to 4 minus x is our first equation and y equal to x minus 2 is our second equation. Now, if I do the same like Again, we are trying to plot it, so we need to get some points. Uh, let's say we are just doing again the same minus 1, 0, and 1 for x. And we are trying to substitute that value to the equation 1 to get the corresponding y values. So x equal to minus 1, when you are substituting here, minus of minus 1, which is 6, oh, sorry, it's a 5. Minus of minus 1 is a positive 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. And when x equal to 0, it is 4. When x equal to 1, it is 3. So you know that the minus 1, 5 is the solution for this equation. 0, 4 is the solution for this equation. 1, 3 is the solution for this equation. You are, we are trying to do the same in here as well. x, y. Uh, trying for minus 1, 0, 1. If you put x equal to minus 1, then it's a minus 1, minus 2 is a minus 3. 0, minus 2 is a minus 2. 1, minus 2, which is? minus 1. So again you can see minus 1 minus 3 is the solution for this. 0 minus 2, 1 minus 1 is the solution for this. 
but you can see now 1 3 1 minus 1 0 minus 2 0 4 minus 1 5 minus 1 minus 3 so it's not matching so you can't just get the solution from here directly so in that case definitely we have to go for graph we have to plot the graph so this is our x-axis this is our y and now you can say okay uh, just trying to plot the first equation minus 1 5 so if you x equal to minus 1 y 5 1 2 3 4 5 somewhere here we can just roughly sketching uh, x 0 y 4 x 0 y 4 somewhere here even the two point is enough to draw the line uh, we can just even try next one 1 3 x 1 y 3 3 is somewhere here so now you can that add just line here and this is the line for our first equation now we are trying to do the second one x minus 1 y minus 3 so it's coming down 1 2 3 somewhere here 0 minus 2 when x 0 then it's a minus 2 somewhere here 1 minus 1 so x equal to 1 then y equal to minus 1 so somewhere here okay and then if you add those line and this is for the uh, this line is for equation 2 let's say this is our equation 2 and now you can see that it is nearly passing to that uh, uh, that point so this is the point they are intersecting and this is the point is called the solution for both equation because this point is only lying on both lines okay now how to get this point we just need to do the dot dot here and dot 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 dot, dot, dot. we can say okay what is the uh, this horizontal distance we can say the x equal to one uh, two probably it's a three here so it's a three and then uh, y will be just it's a one it's, a, it's a just one so y one so we can say x three y1 so x3 y1 is the solution so we can say our the solution will be x equal to 3 y equal to 1 or even you can write down in this form doesn't matter which form you're writing so both right okay so that's how we have to do so what we need to do we just try to do the table and to get few points and then try to draw the straight lines and checking where they are intersecting and then we are making the vertical and horizontal line to find out the x distance and the y distance and this is the value or intersecting points and this is the solution for these two equation so this is not always very easy you have to do lots of work and that's why i mostly prefer to go uh, elimination or substitution method to solve the simultaneous equation but any method whatever method you are following you will end up with the same answer thanks for watching if you would like to see more uh, videos based on simultaneous equation please put in a comment box and please subscribe my channel to uh, get all up-to-date videos thank you